Um, I'm probably gonna have to sell this, boys. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to sell this because it's gonna be boosted. And. Yo, what is up, guys? Botrix here, back with a brand new video. And today, guys, we're gonna be playing some more pit random trio. So let's hop right into it. I have yet to play random trio with the new 6.0.1 update. So. This is definitely going to be pretty exciting. If you guys do enjoy the video, make sure to drop a fat like, of course, and let's just hop right into it. So for our first opponent today, we got I Don't Lose. Definitely looks like a pretty experienced opponent. Not the greatest badges, though, and not too many medallions. So hopefully we can pull off with a win for game one. He wants to play on Zen Garden with that loadout. Hell no, my friend. Hell no. I got the map offside, though. I'm down to play at this, though. All right, is he? Is he? He might. I'm not too sure. But I got a few important announcements, guys. So the first announcement that I want to announce is that I'm going to be only streaming on Twitch from here on out. I might make a whole separate video on this, but pretty much, yes, that's all I'm going to be streaming on from here on out. So it's still the same thing, still the same stream, just going to be only on the Twitch platform. So if you guys still want to watch the streams and you do enjoy the streams, make sure to follow my Twitch. It will be the first link in the description below. So if you really do enjoy the streams, like I just said, and you really care to watch them, but you don't have to if you don't want to watch the streams, that is totally up to you. So it's fine either way, but I'm just letting you guys know right now but yeah i'll probably go into a video a separate video more into depth into like why um i'm doing this and everything like that but for now we'll just leave it at that so of course we're gonna be starting off with the mortar uh we probably should have actually no we're i'm fine with this okay so i got the burning stuff as well um on our mortar already and he has a bomb tower up not too sure why uh but round six i mean not around six what am i saying round four pinks might be annoying uh he could possibly send those to us so we're gonna have to watch out for those definitely um if he does end up sending pinks i might just set down a glue or two. Oh my god we have set five sets of glues i thought it went down to three what i'm okay I, I guess i'm just fucking wrong okay i swear to god it went down to three maybe in r3 there's five sets i'm not too sure let me know that in the comment section because i really don't know i swear the other day i saw it and it was that fucking three not five three i promise you guys but that's not too big of a deal. So, of course, we're both ecoing, looking both pretty good. Um, I mean, he is anti-stalling to the goddamn max, so our eco is just going to be trash, most likely, uh, just because he's popping those balloons immediately after they come out of the map, or come onto the map, that is. So, that is a bummer, but I think we're going to get up a an NG, actually, because of round six blacks, potentially, and I think I'm going to send him some round six blacks on his side. I'm actually going to boost these because I want him to stop ecoing, uh, for a little bit because um, I know he probably is a little bit ahead of me now and I know this will make him stop a little bit he actually used all of his glues right there every single fucking one did he not there's are four glue spots on the map oh my god okay so no he has one more glue splat so he used four glue splats for space blacks on round six what is he thinking that literally was just such a waste okay so now it's not gonna be well it's gonna be pretty hard to kill him mid game uh, but at least we got those glue splats out of the way I knew I should have gotten the Moab boost instead of just the regular balloon boost. Maybe we could get him uh, with a mid-game rush. I really doubt it, though. Maybe a ceramic or something will kill him. Uh, we'll just have to see. So we're definitely going to have to get up um, some more defenses here because he is sending quite a bit on our side. So I'm a little bit nervous, of course. He's probably going to layer over some yellows. He might actually stop leaking. Not too sure, but it looks like, no, yeah, he's going to stop. He actually just upgraded to the cluster bomb. So I'm probably going to eco just once more max eco it out and we got about 549 eco okay so that's pretty good i'm happy with that and it looks like he's just gonna eco a little bit more uh but yeah we should definitely be pretty good with this if he wants to send more uh, that's fine i'm fine with leaking a couple of lives here and there which we might with this ai because regen yellow is op man yeah and it looks like we're about to leak a couple of lives but like i said it's not a big deal actually no we only leaked up okay we only end up leaking one live so that is pretty good um i'm just gonna get the single flare up just now as well and we could actually probably get up a balloon trap which would not be a bad idea whatsoever so i'm thinking about doing that i'm really thinking about doing that uh because that is definitely not a bad idea so let me over time get it up i actually might have to just sell this then i might have to sell my mortar and this uh to get up that yeah let me do it let's do it boys okay so there the, there's the balloon trap now we got the balloon trap and i could probably something back here just in case like a zero zero bomb tower uh, just for now so yeah we're definitely not going to be sending him 
any type of rush here soon uh, just because we have no money now. We literally have nothing. So it looks like he's upgrading defense on, on his side as well. He's prepared for rushes. We are also prepared as well because we still have five glue splats, five freaking powers of the glue. So that's an amazing thing. And we're just gonna be getting a ton of money from this balloon trap. Uh, so I'm gonna be collecting as much as freaking possible, but I'm gonna start space sequing. I should have been space sequing already uh, since the start of round 13. Oh no, that was grouped. Okay, I honestly did not mean to do that. If that somehow like killed him, that would be pretty funny, but I doubt it. It got him to use his last glue, but I really thought God damn it, I really thought this was a space. That's just a mistake, I did not mean to do that. Uh, but it looks like, oh, I forgot to fucking collect on my side the balloon trap. I'm gonna have to get ready to collect it because he's sending quite a bit of pinks on our side. So there we go, we're gonna get the cluster bomb as well and put this bad boy on close. There we go, because the bomb tower on close is pretty good. I wanna kind of send him a rush right now. So I'm gonna just send just some regular leads. I know I should be ecoing, that's probably our best butt, but I'm gonna see what I can do with this. And then also pinks over top of this camo ceramic let's see what he can do with this ceramic uh but it looks like he's gonna be able to pop that with actually e so he definitely has a way and i mean a fucking way higher eco than us so that's not looking pretty that's not looking too good for us guys uh so i'm gonna have to probably yeah i'm gonna send him a mob this next upcoming round because i got to man i got to and i'm late sending the mob oh my god i hate how it really shows now three like oh god i'm so dead dude i'm actually so dead um, I'm probably gonna have to sell this boys. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to sell this because it's gonna be boosted and let me get that and then oh god. Oh god. Oh My god, dude. Are you fucking serious? I fucking hate r3. I get dressed in the morning. I'm triggered. I take a shower. I'm triggered. I get in the car. I'm triggered. So we're back with the next opponent Josh JH 98 doesn't look as good as the last opponent, but I fucked up so fucking hard that last game, guys. I thought I clicked the Sol button for the Moab Assassin, so that was my plan to just Moab Assassin that really quick so I could get the Moab Lair popped off and then pop the ceramics with a balloon impact, but I guess I just misclicked and I didn't actually click the Sol button. That's my fault, whatever, it happens, but I fucking hate R3. I literally, I really don't like R3. That's probably one of the worst modes in my opinion. Uh, just because I don't like using weird tower combinations, I just don't think it's right. Um, I don't think it shows skill either. I mean, I guess you could argue that, but there's shitty tower combinations. And not most people practice uh, with using these shitty tower combinations. So it just doesn't seem, I don't know, very effective and it's just dumb. I don't know. You could probably argue why you like it and how it is skillful, but I just don't really like it. That's the bottom line. So we're going to be obviously ecoing, of course, because we have no farms and he's going to be ecoing as well. We're going to have to get up uh, the two, three as soon as freaking possible. We might actually have to set down a glue, which yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to set down one glue just to help us out a little bit uh, because our boomerang monkey is definitely getting overrun by these reds just a little bit. It looks like he stopped equaling just for a second, maybe just forgot to send or something. Uh, but yeah, we're going to just be saving up for the bionic boomer, the two, three, as soon as freaking possible. Uh, so we should be able to get it within the next upcoming seconds. Of course, we have to save a little bit of money right here. So I'm going to stop actually like right about here uh, so we can get it. I think we can get it. Yes. Okay, there we go. Saved the exact amount that we needed. So that's a good thing. And then we're just going to be equal with blues as soon as possible. So here we go. And I think our ego should just be a little bit higher, just a tad bit higher than his uh, because he did stop equaling way before. So it should we should have a tiny eco advantage. Nothing too major, though. Uh, but this sucks because we're not going to be able to rush each other mid-game, of course, because we got the Bionic Boomers. So that means we just turbocharge any fucking rush that is sent to us, which really freaking sucks. I knew I should have just got the Mob Balloon Boost. I knew it. I knew it, man. That's definitely next on the agenda to get that instead of this current Balloon Boost I have, which Balloon Boost, just regular balloons. I'd rather have the Mob Class Balloons Boost because I just see myself using it way freaking more than regular balloons. So... I'm definitely going to be doing that as soon as I can. So we got four or five eco on round six. Not too bad, but not the greatest either. But you don't have to really worry about eco too much, especially when you're starting off with the Bionic Boomer because it's just going to be a little bit lower. And you can over eco a little bit on round nine, 10, even if you wanted to. You just got to make sure that you have enough for the turbocharge on round 13, which we should. And I want to be dumb with like over ecoing and stuff like that. Of course, I'm experienced with that. Um, so yeah we'll probably send him a couple yellows on this round I, oh my god i know it's like such a freaking small thing but i just hate how it shows three balloons now like do you guys understand what i mean like it only shows three rows now it used to show four and i'm just was really used to that 
and now it only shows three which is very very annoying but it looks like my dude josh is actually getting up another ninja actually or his first ninja that is uh so that's interesting we're definitely gonna have to get up some camo lead detection uh for round 12 that is uh but yeah we should be pretty good and he's gonna be sending us quite a bit of yellows right there actually uh so i'm just gonna get up a quick double shot just to clean that up a little bit and we should be pretty good so yeah definitely sending him a camel lead on round 12 he will also send us one he actually might even turbocharge it who freaking knows because he just sent us quite a bit of yellows right there uh so he might just not even have enough money for the bion boomer or not the bion boomer the flash bomber uh with the ninja so we'll see what he does but yeah let's get ready to send this camo lead there we go and of course we just need regular camo detection as well with just a regular ninja if we have to though if he sends that uh camel lead pretty quickly oh god he used um monkey glue he could uh, yeah that's that works too that definitely does work uh so yeah we're just gonna save up for this flash bomber i'll just send for now some space eco just a little bit of space eco uh don't want to do what i did last time with sending groups freaking uh rainbows that was really really dumb uh, but it looks like he's sending us quite a bit of camel leads now space camel leads so i'm just gonna get up the flash bomber here and we should be pretty good uh looks like we might leave a couple lives though which is fine i guess uh there's really nothing we can do about it and we'll still be alive in the long run but it looks like he's gonna continue oh god okay um i'm gonna set down definitely a glue to help us out a little bit jesus christ i did not expect him to send that much but i guess i'll just get up a freaking two one at least to be safe uh because he's sending quite a bit of camo balloons at us uh, which is not very smart not in my opinion because now he's not gonna have a higher ego than us on round 18 so he actually might just straight up die to the mob that we do send him i mean he could turbo charge it but it looks like he's actually going to get up another flash bomber no 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 okay he's getting up a bionic boomer it looks like he's well not a bionic boomer i keep on saying bionic boomer why am i saying that looks like he's trying to get up a double shot that is uh so we should probably save up for the balloon jitsu but we're probably not gonna get that oh god okay yeah he's dead round 18 boys he's dead round 18 i promise you he's gonna die round 18 okay we'll send him a mob of course we'll most likely boost and then we'll re-rush him and then it's just gonna be gg i'll probably send leads then camos not camos behind him leads then ceramics behind it that's probably what we'll do and uh it will be pretty good from there so i might end up turbocharging it i could turbocharge it uh let's see what he does on his side i should have just sent regular leads as well but it looks like he actually could get up okay there's the boost okay there we go awesome 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 so i'm gonna layer this um moab up with the ai leads as well it's gonna be freaking beautiful i promise you it's gonna be freaking beautiful so let's also boost some leads of our own and then ceramics behind it and it should be a freaking gg boys it should be a gg so yeah just gonna all out him here with just a bunch of freaking ceramics so let's see if he can defend can just defend this huge ash rush that we just sent him he has a bunch of glues on his map but it looks like there's so many balloons i'm also close to dying oh my god hang in there buddy hang in there but josh is down to four lives and then zero <laughs> holy shit oh my god that was so freaking close gg my friend oh my god i really don't like r3 so i'm gonna have to wrap the video up there boys um i know it was only two games but i do have work in about 11 minutes like no lie so i just gotta wrap this up really quickly i hope you guys did enjoy make sure to drop a fat like if you guys are new to the channel and also don't forget to follow my twitch first link in the description below if you would like to continue to watch my streams i'm only gonna be streaming on there from here on out so the last question i asked you guys in the last video was how long was the marathon stream in the answer i think someone got the exact answer so i'm gonna put this up on the screen right now there you go man congratulations on your shout out i forget the exact time but i think it was like seven hours 36 minutes this guy got the exact fucking time so dude shout out to you that's an awesome fucking thing enjoy your shout out man thank you so much for participating so the next question i'm going to be asking you guys is which tower do i hate more heli or cobra make sure to leave your answers down below in the comment section and you may have the chance to win a shout out in the next video which is obviously dope i hope you guys have a great day that's going to wrap up the video once again it's been your board bolt peace out everybody